I purchased a new bracelet. Sort of. Welcome back to Life in My Shoes reviews and such. As the intro and the thumbnail indicated, I purchased a new bracelet. This is the Rode ID. Now, having said it's a bracelet, this is probably the most functional bracelet that I've ever purchased, and I will talk to you about why as I talk about the purchase, the product, and then in my opinion of the product. As the norm, let's talk about the purchase. The purchase. As a caveat, as I do for all my videos, I want to remind you that this is not a sponsored video. I purchased this product for myself, uh, and I will explain why as I give you my opinions of how uh, and why I purchased the product in my opinion section of the video. But I purchased this product uh, brand new from Rode ID for $12.98. I captured an, a phenomenal sale. Uh, this is in black. It is men's uh, wrist ID stretch, 13 millimeter rugged. Uh, it comes with multiple bands. I'll tell you a little bit about that in the product. Um, but I ordered it on April 5th and it arrived on April 12th. So surprisingly fast uh, delivery, uh, especially considering that there's customization on the plate. But again, I'll tell you about that when I talk about the product. And now let me give you some details of the product. As I mentioned before, this was purchased from Road ID. Uh, I, the link to the company and this specific product will be in the description. Again, not sponsored. It just happened to be where I purchased the product from. I purchased the Wrist ID Stretch 13 millimeter rugged in black men's. Uh, the engraving on the nameplate, which uh, I won't close up so you can read that, is guaranteed for life. Uh, the entire bracelet is weatherproof. Um, it is uh, described on their website as having a rugged faceplate design that will hold up to any environment. Uh, tough, stretchy silicone band. You can see there. The silicone band simply slides over the hand um, for putting it on, so that happens rather easily. And the nameplate rather easily slides onto the silicon, silicon band. Um, the faceplate is available with five lines of up to 24 characters, so you have to be smart about the characters you, you use on it. I'll talk more about that in the why I purchased it. Um, it's available in nine different color bands, so you can have different band colors. Um, uh, most of them are solid. I think there are a couple that are multicolored. Uh, it is available in men's in women's, um, I think they're pet. There are a variety of products. There are different kinds of bands with uh, more watch-like uh, apparatus, watch-like bands for the name plates. You can buy the name pla plates for putting on your shoes for a variety of things. So I would say if it is something that you're considering purchasing, which listen to why I purchased it, at that point I'd say go check out uh, the. Uh, Road ID site to see what products they offer. What uh, this comes with is it comes with three different band sizes. So it comes with an eight and a half or an uh, rounded eight and a half inch, which is an extra large, which is what I have. Um, and then in the box, there were two others. There's the large, which is about a seven and a half inch. And then there's a medium, which is about a seven inch uh, band. I am using the extra large. So now let's launch into my thoughts and opinions about the product and why I purchased it. And now my thoughts and opinions. Before I do that, let me give you a close up of the bracelet. Obviously I'm blurring out the text, but let's talk about why I made this purchase. Before I do that, let me tell you as a caveat, I'm measuring my wrist, my wrist is about seven and a fourth inches. So if you remember, I mentioned the extra large was eight and a half, uh, the, um, the large was seven and a half, and then the medium was seven, and I'm using the extra large. I'll talk about that in a moment. <coughs> so why did I purchase this? 
So this is advertised as a um, an emergency or an identification mechanism. So I do run. I go out and run on the streets. I occasionally run trails, not very often. Uh, but what this does is this provides identification of who I am, where I'm from. It has two contacts on it and then I have kind of a or a motto that I can put on it as well at, on the fifth line so I got my name um, my location my two contacts and then kind of a motto you can use those however you like um, again you have up to 24 characters again because I run outside I am running often I'm not road running I'm running on the sidewalk but with uh, with cars around uh, I often carry my wallet with me and I have to wear a pack or a special belt to carry my wallet with me so that I have my identification on me if something happens while I'm out running. So this has easily converted me to not needing to carry that. Um, obviously, I'll probably still use the pack because I use it to carry my phone and if I need any kind of um, liquid any any drinks or anything that i need to carry with me i do that <coughs> so i may still wear the pack but i won't be wearing it as a, a byproduct of needing to have my id so i wear it for identification another reason you might do this is that if you have a medical condition this is almost uh, similar to the medical bracelets that you have that can tell people about allergies or conditions uh, should something happen to you I don't have that, but because I run, uh, that was my chief driver in purchasing this is that I wanted some kind of identification for when I'm out running on the roads. So how do I use it? Uh, I use it as a piece of jewelry, but specifically a piece of jewelry that I never remove. So I swim in it, I run in it, I shower in it, I sleep in it, I don't ever take it off. Uh, it's not uncomfortable, the nameplate uh, it doesn't have any hot spots on it, so there's really no reason why I need to take it off. In all honesty, the I didn't get it for just running. I got it for primarily running. So it still is a safety mechanism to have around regardless of what I'm doing. So I might as well wear it all the time. <coughs> What is, uh, what do I think about the quality? The band is super thick and sturdy. Um, the faceplate is very nice, it goes on easy. All the bands are the same thickness. Again, they're, they're for different wrist sizes, but they're the, all the same thickness. So with the men's, I got three different uh, band size options. They're all the same quality, high quality. Again, there's a lifetime warranty on the faceplate. So if anything happens, uh, you can contact Road ID and get a new uh, faceplate for your bracelet as well. <coughs> so let's talk about the fit. So again, I mentioned that there are three different sizes. I mentioned that the extra large is eight and a half, the uh, medium or the large is seven and a half, and then the medium is seven. And I mentioned that my wrist is seven and a fourth, which you would think that I'd be using the large. Uh, the large fits real tight on my wrist. So with the nameplate, um, even though it, it has no hot spots, it would fit tighter on my skin, and I think it could have some slight abrasiveness. Um, it was to the point where it was slightly uncomfortable with how tight the uh, seven and a half inch uh, the large bracelet was so I've gone with the extra large and it does have you know it's not tight uh, it's not uncomfortable ideally I wish they had an eight inch and it probably would be it's between that and the um, the extra large and the large that probably would be ideal for me um, again wrist sizes are different so like I know why they don't have all the variety of sizes they give you uh, one face plate and they give you three band options and I think that's really wise of them to do um, that's my only gripe per se and it's not even really a gripe this is really a very cool product which I would say uh, I was recently writing down a list of things that I would say are uh, nice to haves um, uh, didn't know you needed to have must-haves for running and this really was one of the things that probably um, a must-have you didn't know you should have is a bracelet like this um, from Road ID so <coughs> overall what are my thoughts and opinions first off it's comfortable uh, secondly it's functional uh, third 
I will say it's stylish. Again, you, you see me, I wear bracelets. That is probably the only pieces of jewelry besides a wedding band that I wear are bracelets. It's just, you know, and I make joke about having one built in. Um, that is what I wear. So to me, it fits in with my normal fashion sense. It's something I'm used to having, something that's uh, just the norm for me is to have something on my wrist. It is uh, normal and functional for me. It's not, it doesn't stand out, it's not gaudy, but overall it's functional, it's stylish, um, and it's durable, and it, it meets a need that I kind of sort of knew I, I had, but after I purchased it, it's just given me that additional sense of security when I'm out running. So in the end, I think it's a phenomenal purchase. Um, again, I only paid about 13 bucks. Um, they're typically around the $20 range for this one. I think it's well worth it at $20. Um, I was being uh, a cheapskate uh, in my decisioning on making the purchase, but after having purchased it, I, I regret that I didn't do it sooner. So it's a phenomenal purchase. If you're a runner or you have any medical condition that you feel that people would need to know if something happens to you for your kids um, that are out, that may travel <laughs> with friends and family when they travel, it's a nice to have. If you have a pet, you can put it on there. They have pet versions that so you can put on their collar, the versions you can put on your shoes. So there's lots of mechanisms for having something like this that can potentially save the life of someone in an emergency. So there you go. That's the road ID bracelet. Let me know your thoughts. Do you have a medical condition condition that requires you to wear a medical bracelet? Would you consider something like this? Are you an active athlete that you feel like this could benefit you? Let me know in the uh, comments below and I'll be back soon with another review.